Hey, hey, welcome back to Camping and Coffee. I am so glad you're here today. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you watching this video. I'm going to cut straight to the point because, uh, I mean, you read the title. You know what we're here for. It's the five problems that we've had since uh, actually going to get this camper. We haven't even taken it out on a trip. Well, we have now. Uh, we've had it out on one, but we had five problems before we even took it out on that trip. Now, this is not necessarily a, a knock on Keystone uh, or the Cougar brand here, the Keystone brand, but in a way it kind of is. I mean, it's like, hey, I mean, I know you manufacture these things. They're not cheap. I mean, dear Lord. I mean, I mean, this one here, $45,000, uh, that's not a cheap camper. And so I expect a little bit more of some quality service from this one. I, I just like, I don't know. Something's going on. Either way, let's get right to it. So number one, and this this is really one probably that goes for all campers, but it's the wheel covers that you see on the outside. Yes, half of one, half of ours, uh, broke off on the trip back home. Surprise, surprise. I mean, these, these plastic things, they just don't, they can't handle the, the wind. They can't handle it. Sun beats them up and they end up breaking apart. Well, ours, like I said, literally day one of owning this camper, it broke. Half of the one broke off. Uh, second complaint I would say would be the bathroom uh, in the bathroom we have a sliding door and above that door is actually got a cover and it you know houses kind of the, the mechanisms that where the the rollers uh, things like that for the door that actually fell off on the way back home from Ohio oh and by the way if you haven't seen the video from going to get the camper check it out I'll put a link of it right up here but yeah so anyway that cover fell off it's like oh and that one there is super simple i mean you can see they've even now where the spacing of the uh, the screws and the snaps that go in that kind of give it this decorative look it's not hard match the screws where you're going to put those match them up where the boards are going to be uh, up on the wall there and kind of line them up there was one that was actually in the right spot one of them out of like four or five can't believe it anyway uh item number three the front window shade, because this trailer actually has a front window, has a shade, a blackout shade that pulls down. It fell off. Seriously. I'm like, you kidding me? And then this one, actually, it had fallen off on our way to, well, actually, it may have fallen off on the way home. I don't know. I wasn't in it until we went to the, our first campsite. And I had to repair it there at the campsite because I just didn't want to, I didn't want to not have a window shade. So, yeah. So, luckily, I had some tools I could, re, I had to re-drill it. And then re-screw it in. And so, yeah, so I just made a smaller hole. It looked like maybe the holes were too big. I mean, like some of this is, this is just paying attention to detail and putting the details in it. And just like I allude right back to, you know, cost of these things aren't cheap. You kind of expect a little bit, you know, a little bit of higher quality, especially for some of these who say they have higher quality. So anyway, that's that. Number four, uh, that would be the, the slide out awning cover. That part is... I just don't know if it doesn't have enough tension in it. Uh, I don't know, but it wants to unroll itself and you get any kind of wind. And that's what it was, I mean, driving home, think about it. If you're going 65, now you got 65 mile an hour winds against it. But tried to unroll itself uh, and was just causing a problem. Just wasn't, not, now it doesn't want to roll up properly. I mean, it will, but it's kind of got the wrinkles in it. And I'm like, it's just not flat like it probably should be. Once again, another expensive item uh, and felt like it should just be done a little bit better. And number five, this is kind of like nitpicking a little bit, but still, I'm like, golly, for the price that we pay for these things. And I'm not talking about just us. I'm talking about you all as well. We all pay a lot for our campers. And you kind of, you, you want that quality. You know what I'm saying. I'm preaching to the choir. But the last item is the, the letters. I mean, now, like I said, this is kind of a very minor item, but still, it's not. In a way, to me, it's not. Because my letters are starting to peel away from the camper. Like really? So now, and what am I? I'm not going to set up a service or a warranty item for it, just to go get the letters fixed. No more likely, I probably just pull the letters off, and hey, there goes your advertising. But anyway, uh, those are my top five items. Well, actually, it's not my top five items. Those are the five items that we've had problems with before I even got at home. Like I said, all of those items took place before. I mean, within two days of owning this camper. And so now I still have to fix, I got to fix the bathroom door. I fixed the shade. So luckily that done, I checked with the dealership about, Hey, can you just send me a, a cover for the wheels? I can unscrew it and screw a new one on. Probably not a big deal, 
But no, you're gonna, I gotta call the local dealership here and I'll have to go down there and probably grab one. Probably have to do the same thing with the awning cover. Uh, go down there and check it out as well. But hey, I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for listening to uh, what these problems are. And if you've had some crazy problems within you know, early ownership, uh, and you know what I'm saying, you know, you know what I'm getting with you, you know, preaching to you, like I said, preaching to the choir, hey, throw, throw some comments down there. It'd be interesting to start a little thread. I mean, I'm not, like, I, I, I'm not wanting to do like, hey, this is not an RV bashing session. I'm just saying, for the price that we pay for these things, come on, put a little bit of extra effort into it. I know that's some mass manufacturing, but sometimes it makes me think that, hey, there's some other brands out there that do focus on quality a little bit more than others. All right, take care. We'll catch you in the next video. See ya.